Whatever you do, don't think about a white bear. Think about anything else. A nice tropical beach, your first kiss, donuts. Just don't think about... Ugh. Okay, fine. It's not that easy. We love our brains, but we're actually not that great at controlling our thoughts. Why is that? Well, it would help if we actually knew what a thought was. Really, there are only two possibilities. Thoughts are either part of the material world, like maybe patterns of electricity generated by the neurons in our brains, or they're not part of the material world, like there's some cosmic consciousness that spans the universe but that is completely undetectable by science. Yeah, let's go with option one. We know our brains are made of neurons and that those neurons exchange electrical signals with each other anywhere from 20 to 1,000 times a second. And with around 100 billion neurons in a typical human brain, that's a lot of activity. But most of it never rises to the surface to become a conscious thought. A lot of that subconscious activity is just the brain making sense of the various inputs it gets from the world. This is just raw perception, like the automatic light that switches on when you walk into a room. But how is perception different from thought? Well, for one, we can think about things that aren't immediately in front of us. Like that sandwich you had for lunch an hour ago. But we can also think about things that we can't actually see directly. Like the event horizon of a black hole. Or the internet. And we can even think about things that can't really exist at all. Like a perfect circle. So somehow thoughts originate and stick around in our brains. But how? Well, the short answer is, we don't know. But we do have ideas. Like, researchers studying the brains of awake monkeys have found groups of neurons that fire together to form coordinated, complex patterns of electricity. When these patterns get strong enough, the brain spawns precise copies of them in different areas. These copies can go on to set off avalanches of further brain activity. But are they thoughts? Well, the patterns are complex and repeatable, so they may be a way for the brain to store and transmit information. But it's too early to tell if they actually are the physical basis of thought, or something else entirely. In any case, because thoughts arise from brain activity, and most brain activity is subconscious, it makes sense that we only have limited control over what we think about. And it gets doubly hard when we're told not to think about something. Some part of the brain has to keep track of whatever it is we're not supposed to be thinking about, if only to make sure we don't think about it. And just like it's nearly impossible to not think about something once you've been told not to think about it, there may be all kinds of thoughts that we simply can't think at all. So maybe that's why some of the mysteries of the universe are still beyond our mind's grasp. For now, at least, we can blame it on the brain.